join our membership tiers and access custom features such as badges and emojis personalised to the Lost History channel. Help us combat the shadow ban that is restricting this channel in so many ways. With your help, we will forever keep moving forward, improving our content and delivering to you a history that has been lost for far too long. And if you missed the recent Squatterman instalment, then please click on the link below after this video. Audience engagement is vital on YouTube for a shadow ban channel like ours, so please engage with this video as much as possible and let them be seen for the destruction they are causing us. Thank you. And some UFO reports today, coming in from pilots flying over Canadian airspace who were shocked to see a bright green flying object that flew into a cloud and then disappeared. Wait till you hear this. Vice News and the Daily Mail reports that an incident occurred on July the 30th when two separate pilots reported witnessing a green UFO when a Canadian military plane flying between CFB Trenton, a military base in Ontario, and Cologne in Germany, and KLM Royal Dutch Airlines Flight KLM 618 travelling from Boston to Amsterdam, and these two flights saw the mysterious object with a telling engineering report that the pilot's evasive manoeuvres may have helped avoid a mid-air collision. The incident, reported by both military and commercial airliners, was reported to the government's aviation incident database, and both flights from separate vantages describe a bright green flying object which flew into a cloud and then disappeared. And luckily enough, the object didn't affect either flight's nominal operations, but according to the report, one of the aircraft, a Canadian military airplane, lifted off from Ontario base to fly to Cologne in Germany. The other commercial flight had passengers and was KLM Royal Dutch Airlines flight transiting from Boston to Amsterdam. An aviation and shipping researcher, Stephen Watkins, examined transponder data from either flight and he observed that the military plane made a steep climb of 1,000 feet when it experienced the UFO sighting. In other words, the Canadian military may have veered off upwards to avoid a collision with the UFO. The report to the Canadian Aviation Authority had linked the event with a catch-all assortment of explanations, including a meteor, a weather balloon, a rocket, but they also included UFO, although this doesn't mean aliens, not necessarily. A spokesperson for the Royal Canadian Air Force confirmed the sighting to the Daily Mail Online. The crew saw something in the air and reported it to NAV Canada as per standard procedure, before carrying on with their mission without further incidents. The spokesperson confirmed in an email to the tabloid, while it is not known what they saw, there is nothing to indicate that it posed any kind of security concern or posed a safety risk to the aircraft. Vice News was the first to report on the incident with unidentified aerial phenomena taking place and the newspapers in the UK, the Daily Mail, picked up on the story. And although Canada's Department of National Defence does not track UFO sightings, a department spokesperson told Vice News the US's neighbour to the north is acutely aware of these incidents. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.